Imagine a day when you turn on your faucet and nothing comes out. This is the harsh reality that may soon face the American Southwest, California, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona. For centuries, this region has thrived despite its arid conditions. But now, it stands on the brink of a water crisis unlike any other. The mighty Colorado River, the lifeblood of the Southwest, is drying up. Its flow has reduced by nearly 20% over the last century, a decline that scientists attribute to climate change. In the desert cities, water levels in reservoirs are at record lows. From Phoenix to Las Vegas, municipal water supplies are dwindling. Farmers, who rely on this water for irrigation, are also feeling the pinch. Without sufficient water, crop yields are falling, threatening livelihoods and food security. The impact on wildlife is equally alarming. Reduced river flows and dried up habitats are spelling disaster for many species unique to the Southwest. But it's not just about the environment. The economic fallout for a region that contributes substantially to the nation's GDP could be massive. Many industries, including tourism, agriculture, and energy, heavily rely on water. Without it, jobs could be lost, businesses could fail, and communities could be appended. Even the cultural fabric of the Southwest is at stake. Many indigenous communities consider water sacred, and a shortage could threaten their way of life. However, it's not all doom and gloom. There are ways we can mitigate this crisis. For starters, we need to re-evaluate our water usage. Through conservation and smarter irrigation techniques, we can reduce water waste. We also need to rethink our relationship with water. It's not an infinite resource, but a precious commodity that needs to be managed wisely. On a larger scale, we can invest in technologies like desalination and wastewater recycling. Such innovations are more sustainable and could help secure our water future. Policy changes are also necessary. Water rights laws need to be fair and equitable, ensuring everyone gets their fair share. Education is key. By understanding the value of water, we can change attitudes and behaviors, creating a culture of conservation. Moreover, we need to adapt to the changing climate. This means building infrastructure that's resilient to droughts and heat waves. Finally, we need global cooperation. Water scarcity isn't a problem confined to the Southwest, it's a global crisis that demands a united response. So, what if the Southwest runs out of water? It's a frightening prospect, but it's also a wake-up call. It's a reminder of our collective responsibility to protect our most vital resource. Because without water, there's no life. In the end, the fate of the Southwest isn't just about water. It's about survival, resilience, and the power of human ingenuity. Because when it comes to water, every drop counts. Imagine a future where the taps in the American Southwest run dry. The magnificent Colorado River, once a thriving lifeline in the desert, is now barely a trickle. As you walk the dusty streets of Phoenix, the once abundant fountains stand lifeless. In Las Vegas, neon lights glow against a backdrop of parched earth, a stark contrast to the city's once luxurious water shows. The sprawling farms of California's Central Valley, now barren fields, stand testament to a vanishing resource, water. The promise of the American Southwest, once a place of opportunity and growth, is wavering. What's driving this crisis? Climate change and overuse. For decades, we've been tapping into ancient aquifers, draining them faster than nature can replenish. Simultaneously, snowpacks nature's water storage units are disappearing due to rising temperatures. This crisis isn't just an environmental concern. It's a human one. Without water, industries collapse. Agriculture, tourism, construction all depend on this critical resource. In the parched cities, skyrocketing water prices would hit the poorest residents hardest. 
In rural areas, wells would run dry, forcing people to abandon their homes. Then there's the domino effect. As people flee, property values plummet, causing an economic crisis. Tensions could rise as states begin to fight over remaining water resources. Yet, amidst all of this, there's hope. Water conservation and efficient technologies can help us reduce our demand. Innovations like desalination and wastewater recycling offer new sources of water. Investment in infrastructure can ensure water is distributed more equitably. And finally, we must take on the greater challenge of climate change. The future of the American Southwest hangs in the balance. Will we act in time to secure it? So picture this, a future where we take action and the taps continue to flow, where the American Southwest continues to thrive. We can make this our reality.